Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. Hopefully, you're healthy, but more and more people are getting sick this yeah. holiday season. Well, if you take medication, medicine to make you feel better, bad news, many stores are out of stock. Mm. Sam Spangler has more in a story new tonight at 9. When you're not feeling well, it really feels good to open up the medicine cabinet and find what you need to help you feel better. But if you can't find what you need at home, even heading to the store, you might find some empty shelves. And if your infection starts to get worse, one of the more popular prescriptions is also on short supply. The FDA has issued a drug shortage notice on the antibiotic amoxicillin. We're seeing a high number of respiratory illnesses, the influenza, RSV, and just common colds. Now, along with that, we get secondary bacterial infections, like we've been seeing a lot of ear infections or bacterial pneumonia. So we've just had a few phone calls where um, maybe certain pharmacies did not have amoxicillin. But antibiotics aren't always the answer, especially against the number of viruses floating around, unless they've led to a bacterial infection. If you overprescribe antibiotics, what you're doing is you're, you're making yourself uh, more resistant in the future. If you're really sick, then antibiotics are not going to be working. Cold medicine, especially for keiki, is also in short supply. The FDA hasn't put them on a shortage list, but the American Society of Health System Pharmacists has for liquid ibuprofen. Dr. Weiss says if you can't find children's medicine, don't give medicine meant for adults to your child. There are some ways to treat illness without it. I generally will tell my parents to just treat the symptom, you know, you know, have them blow their nose, suction the nose. I like to maybe have them sit in a humidified bathroom, make sure they're drinking a lot of water, you know, to hydrate and keep that mucus um, clear and Tylenol if they have fever or pain. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.